Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to prevent against bulk messages and also um, create a filtered um, system so that people can't just um, be using bad words without any consequences. So um, what a bulk message preventer is, is say someone's like spamming like this, right? And they have like a lot of characters, like, like imagine this but like filling up like the whole screen. Like, um, I don't know why Discord, like, allows, like, 2,000 characters or something, but, um, yeah, it makes it pretty hard for people to protect against spammers, because, um, a lot of public bots actually don't have that. Um, I'm sure some do, but, um, if you want to learn how to do this yourself, it's actually really simple. So, um, the bulk message part is really simple, um, the filter part is also pretty simple, it's just, um... I'm going to be adding a bunch of stuff to it, so um, let's just get started. So let's check to see if this is if the length of the message is actually above the amount of characters that we uh, that we want it not to be. I would say. So, oops, let's actually. Okay, so if this is greater than or equal to 300 characters, then we are going to actually delete it. So let's quickly delete that message. Delete. Um, and I would recommend, uh, 300 because it's sort of, like, the most, most in the middle and, like, reasonable thing. So, like, people can actually type, like, messages, like, maybe to answer a question or give information or something. But, like, above 300 is probably spam. You can obviously test around with this, but, um, that's just what I have found. So, we're just going to message that channel that's in, and we're going to use backticks here. And we're going to ping the message author and say, you are not allowed to use, no, to send bulk messages in the server. Okay. So now that's, that's done, okay, we're going to actually do our um, filtered words. So let's create an array and let's put some words that we don't want people to use. So for example, frick, um, I don't know, um, leaf. Python, whatever you want. Um, obviously, you're not gonna put frick leaf in Python. Just put like really bad things that you don't want anyone to say. Um, so also make sure that like like there's like a lot of um bypasses. So say this was like the actual F word, right? So there's um with the K, you should also be accounting for for example this, or um if I was to do fricking. You should also account for, oops, I need to put a comma. You need to account for freaking or something like that, you know? So obviously yours is gonna be pretty long because you don't want just people easily bypassing everything. Mine, I think um, for my bot is actually like like way over here. So um, definitely be careful with this. So now we're, we're gonna actually check to see if the member is a moderator. Um, so what we're making right now is a moderator bypass. Obviously, if you don't want to do this, then then don't do it because like obviously if you have like words that you just don't want at all in your server, um, you should probably not make this bypass. So now let's let's check to see if the if the message dot um, I'm pretty sure member yeah dot has permission, and I'm just gonna do manage messages. Um, and what this exclamation point is doing is it's saying if this member does not have the permission to mes manage messages. Um, if it does not, then we are going to, oops, instead of a P, I wanted brackets. Yeah. We are going to run this code. So we're just going to delete it immediately. We're also going to message that channel that's in. And, um, I'm planning to actually mute this person. So, um, we're going to let them know that they've been muted and why they have been muted. You are not. No, let, let's say something better. Like, this server is a family friendly server. Please. Oh, it's like lagging it's so hard. Please refrain from using these words again. You have been muted for one. for one minute to. Um, to help you stop repeating this mistake or something like that. Um, I'm not going to pay too much attention to this because it doesn't really matter for me. Obviously, it shouldn't matter for you, I would be guessing. 
Um, now we're going to check if um, if a word is actually part of the array. So array.sum basically checks if the word is in the array. So if w, and then um, what we're going to do is backslash, back, back ticks, sorry, back ticks, and we're going to do um, message.content. Oh my god, the frames. Message.content. Okay, and um, we're going to make sure that's too lowercase so that people can't bypass it. So for example, if I said um, frick like this, right, I'd be able to bypass it. So that's why this two lowercase is very important. So message.content.2 lowercase. Um, we need to put actually parentheses right here. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is dot includes after this backslash right here, dot includes, and we're going to make sure that it, it includes our word. So let's put the W. I don't know why it keeps substituting my brackets for p i'm guessing because it's right next to it. okay i'm just not going to get into that because i'm going to start babbling off for like an hour um okay now so now brackets and we're going to run the code that we want to happen um an another way to do this i'm pretty sure is um just remove this exclamation point just do dot uh, just return just ignore it if um if um that is not met so if this person has managed messages then just return it. I, I think that's actually more efficient than what I had earlier. So um yeah. So now um let's actually get this and copy that and put it put it below this. So if it does include that then let's just copy that so far. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to um make an embed that that we're going to send to the user letting them know that they've been muted and they've been warned so var reason and we're just going to create a reason and we're going to call it um um warning from auto mod okay and we're just going to do these pipes like a subcategory um warning from auto mod using filtered filtered language Actually, without that explanation point. Okay, so now let's create a new embed. Oops. Okay, so let's create var. Let's just do um var filter embed. You don't have to do this, but I kind of want to. Um, cause I, cause um, if you have like other embeds, um, and and you're like constantly like um calling this embed. And you just um, call this embed and you change it. And say you want to send this one, um, the one that you had previously, then it's just going to send the one that you defined after it. Um, so now new Discord, this Discord dot message embed. Yep. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set the title. And we're going to do um, is it add title or set title? Or is there not supposed to be a semicolon here? Set, yeah, here's set title. Let's set the title to, you were warned in, and mine is the infamous test server, so let's just do that. The infamous test server. Put your server name there. Okay, um, now we're gonna do um, add field, reason, and then fields, um, you have to have two subcategories, or else, um, if you say reason, um, and it's only, like, one, one of these, then it's just gonna return undefined at the bottom of it. So, um, yeah, so reason, and you don't actually have to put these brackets over here, you can just, um, do our reason right here. Okay. You can also put the time that expires, um, so, for example, ours, ours is already set, it's, like, set to one minute, so you could just say... Um, not, not actually warned. Let's just do, like, warned or muted, because for our case, it's muted. You were muted in the infamous test server. And then, mute expires. And then, um, let's just put, I think it was one minute that I wanted it to be. One minute. Yeah, let's just put that. You can put, like, formatting or something to make it look a bit better. I'm actually going to put that. It's definitely not necessary, but... Okay. Um, oh, yeah. I, I would actually recommend adding a color, too. Or is it set color or add color? I 
keep getting confused. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have this written down. The hex code, I think. Uh, yeah, this is either red or green, or I actually have no idea. I'm just gonna put the first one that I see. Um, let's put these quotation marks. Okay. So I think that should be it for the embed. So now let's actually try sending this to the user. So try. I'm gonna try um sending this. So message the author dot send the embed. Actually ours is called filter embed right here. Okay. Um and now we're gonna catch any errors that we might have. Catch and then the error. Um and we're going to console.warn this error. Console.warn error. Okay. So now that we're done with that, we're actually gonna mute the person. Um, so let's get the, our mute rule. So var mute rule um, is actually equal to message dot guild dot rules dot cache dot find. This is really long, I know, but um, as long as you just stick to this, it should work. Um, and then you're just gonna find the rule name. Um, and the rule name should be equal to whatever you have. If you don't have a mute rule already, create one. Mine is either called mute or mod mute. I'm just gonna do mute for now. Um, cause I think I'm almost certain that I have one of those. If I don't, then I'll have to make one, but, um, yeah, so that's that. And then we're gonna actually add that to the member. Message.member.roles.add, and we're going to add our role. Our mute role, sorry, not our just regular role. Okay. Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay. So now we're going to make sure that we actually delete this role from the user after one minute. So let's set a timeout and um, let's async this. Async? Yep. Um, and we're going to async this, do our little arrow thingy. Okay. And we're going to message.member.roles. Oops, not comma. Dot roles dot remove and then our mute roll. Okay, so now um I think we're supposed to do like something with the MS. Yeah, so we have to actually download that package first, but um I think you would put it right here and then you put MS and then your time. Ours is just one minute. Okay. Um, let's move this up here. So we actually have to require MS and we also have to download it. So const MS is equal to um, require and then let's require MS, our package MS. So I already downloaded it, but I'm just gonna teach you how to download it really quick. Um, so go to terminal, new terminal. Let's actually save all this. And once this loads, MPMI MS. Okay, and once you download that, don't forget to require const ms is equal to require ms. Okay, let's wait for this. I even though I already have it downloaded, but should say up to date. Yeah, up to date. Okay, let's just clear this out. Let's run our bot node space dot. Okay, so what are the filter things that I had? Um, I think it was okay. So frick, we can try frick. I'm online and ready to listen to command. Okay. Frick. Yep, right here. This server is a family friendly server. Please refrain from using these words again. You've been muted for one minute to help you stop repeating this mistake. Um, it didn't actually add the role. Let me. I think. Oh, missing permissions. Okay, so the bot is missing permissions to do. To um to add this role, I think it might be like below. Yeah, it's actually below the member. Let me fix that really quick. We can actually properly try it. So remember that you should be putting your your bot above your verified role. Yeah, let's let's not let's not look at this, okay? Um, this was an accident. I basically was trying to do something, and then the bot created like hundreds of new roles. So. Um, I think it's sub join. Pretty sure that's the bot. We'll just move it like all the way up here so we don't have to. Is there anything else? No. Okay. So I also to make sure. I'm pretty sure I required admin. Yep. Yeah, okay. So it has admin. Okay. Let's try that again. 
Oh, it's lagging so hard. Okay, let's quickly just clear this out so we can try it again. Node. Okay. Pretty sure it's saved. So now let's see if it's actually above. It's not above, but I think I just have to make it um, visible. It's up to Joey? I think it is. I'm just going to do both of them because I forgot what the name was. Um... Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, okay, there we go. So now let's go into my alt. Let's do frick. So we got a DM. I don't think my mute rule works because I messed up something in settings, I think. So now we got a DM. We got our embed. You were muted in the infamous test server. Reason, warning from automod using filtered uh, language. Mute expires in one minute. So, um... Yeah, obviously you can reformat that because I just realized that it doesn't like actually looks that good. So, um, yeah. I think that should be it. If you have any questions, join my support server, Joey's Joke. I'll try and help you. And, um, oh, wait, actually, before before we go, let me try this bulk message thing. Dun. Yep, it deletes. You are not allowed to send bulk messages in the server. Um, yeah. So that should be it. Again, um, like, subscribe, please. I need those subs. I need those moonies. And, um, yeah. Yeah, bye, I guess.